Okay, so I'll assume you've watched the uh, the guy's video where he graphed, uh, he graphed, what did he graph? He graphed negative, negative three, sorry, it was negative three, five pi over three. And then he ended up converting this to, uh, to positive three, two pi over three. And then I think he wrote another version of it. Uh, but we want to be able to generate all, you know, formula for all sequences. And and I think you, I, I, from what I'm looking at your responses, I, I saw you were able to do this one, where if I if I end up, if I start here, so that's, that's 3, uh, 2 pi over 3. And if I want to come back, back here, I got to add a full rotation. So, so you were successful in writing, I mean, it was a different problem, but... So you were successful in writing three uh, two pi over three plus two n pi, and that just gets us back here when the radius is positive. Now, if we want to write the other, the uh, the uh, the other version of it, where where we're down in this quadrant, and but we just have a negative radius because remember that walks us backwards. And remember how in the video he wrote this, this was, I think this was the original one he did was, it was this one, right? So how do we generate, so we know, we know the three is going to be negative, but how do I generate all those other, other forms of this? Well, if I look at the formula right here, uh, my theta is my original theta from when I started the original, I started with two pi over three, and then it says, Take that angle here. Let me erase this so I can write this a little. So I have a little more space to write that. Take that angle and do two n plus one times pi. So how do we? How does that work? I mean, why? Why does that work? All right. So how do I generate? Here, let me go to let me go to black ink here for this. How do I generate? Let's see, this is the one we want. And this is the negative R one. So this is the one that I'm going to focus on. So I know the radius will be negative. So the so the one that I'm graphing here originally is what? Three, two pi over three. Now I want to be able to generate all of those. So how do I get this to be the negative three, five pi over three? Well, isn't that just adding one pi units or 180 degrees to the origin, this original angle? And then if I wanted to go around again, I'd have to add two pi, right? Wouldn't I have to add, wouldn't I wouldn't have to add, let's see, let's go. Wouldn't I have to add two pi to that? So first off, it's one pi I'd have to add. And then I'd have to add three pi to two pi over three to get there. And then another turnaround, I'd have to add five pi. So how can I come up with that, a formula for that? Well, you see this 2n plus 1? That generates, that generates odd numbers. So if n equals 1, well, if n equals, if, well, first off, what if n equals 0? If n equals 0, isn't that going to be 2 times 0 plus 1? Well, isn't that just 1 times pi? And if n equals 2, I mean, if n equals 1, isn't that 2 times 1 plus 1? Well, isn't that 3? So I'm adding 3 pi. And if n equals n equals 2, that won't that be 5 pi? So do you see that's how I can ex write expressions to always generate that other angle? So pretty easy to do. It's just plugging and chugging again in the formula. Just, just keep these two in mind. And maybe that, hopefully this will help you.